Hello, everybody! I'm Alex Britt, and I didn't just get back from dealing drugs on Let's Play Secret of Evermore. So let's see. We haven't explored this house in Ebon Keep yet, so let's go ahead and do that. We got uh, some ethanol. Some... Well, one crystal. Just one. Are there any people here? Maybe? Maybe upstairs? Uh, huh. Let's see. Okay, water in there. I thought I was going through the wall earlier. Uh, dog? You got anything here? Hmm. I'm, sh I'm sure there's a way to get there. Maybe I'm just, uh... Maybe I'm just crazy. I'll, I'll look into it later. I'm sure there's nothing spectacular beyond there anyway. Could be like another path or something around here. I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, we've got uh, more things to do around here. We have to go see what's up in the castle area. That's our only lead right now, so yeah. Apparently there's no guards. There's plenty of rats, though. So yeah. Um, the areas around here are fairly small, so if you want to try and level up your weapon, you could here. Let's see, these side paths are kind of dark, and they don't, uh, not too many clues on how to get through them, and they're basically just there for more rats. And, uh, yeah, there's no, like, treasure or anything around here. And I don't really know the best way to get through them either, because I... Rarely ever come around here. Okay, yeah, there's an exit. Okay, yeah, this um, checkerboard room is home to a little uh, treasure stash around here with brimstone, more feathers, awesome. Feathers are always useful for more uses of one up. Whoa! That music probably shouldn't be playing. Yeah, that main gate over there, you can just go through here. There's no problem with it. Is this music supposed to be playing? It didn't play when I exited out the side room. Oh, man, that rat was ripe for the for the picking. Okay. So before we go up these stairs, you want to make sure you're fully prepared. Because there's a boss up here. There's a rat thing. The master of the rats. Or the king of them, anyway. Oh. So yeah, anyway, this is the Verminator, and he is just out of reach, so you can't hit him with melee attacks besides charged spears. So, I'm gonna use lances on him, and just slam him with that for a while. That's really the best way to do it, so if you haven't leveled up your alchemy, uh, then you're kind of screwed here. Ow. He also has pretty strong alchemy himself, that's pretty much the only way he can hurt you, too. Also, prior to this battle, I leveled up heal to uh, level 4, and we're going to need some of that right now. Um, it was really close, so I just decided to take care of that, um, you know, really quick. So, doing more lances, because that's what I, what's what I need to level up. You can use drain, too, but that's much weaker. It's not double drain. Ah, die already. <laughs> Terminator's such a silly name. Don't take it personally, man. I'm just just um, saying it how it is. Well, let's do a sting to um, make the heal last a little longer and safely. Okay, acid rain, I, I can deal with that too. That's not too strong. Or I could be wrong. Okay, let's nectar up on that one. See, so yeah, if you're using charged attacks, this is going to take quite some time. And there's also some glitches you can use to skip this boss, but if you do, then you can never enter this room. So, it's kind of a waste. Besides, you do get, like, a crap ton of money for winning. So there you go. If you couldn't buy the armor before, now you can. But there's some more money. There you go. New music. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Not quite as clean. Ooh, a person. Uh, we're from the guy place. He hasn't been feeling like himself lately. Imposter? What do you mean by imposter? Uh, what's going on? Oh, well, sure. Finally getting some story progression instead of all this traveling and dungeoning and mazing and bossing. It's nice to mix it up every once in a while, but that was a little much, I feel. It goes by a lot faster when you're not doing it in 20 minute intervals anyway. Um, okay, we'll take the right path. Oh, okay, see you later. Huh, is that? I thought we have. Oh, we met the evil twin first this time around. Tricky, tricky. The two Dr. Ids. Huh. Oh, the others. It would seem that way, apparently. So she must be the librarian they mentioned before. Ah. Well, I would assume so. Huh. Oh, so the puppets are distracting him. The queen's doing whatever she wants. Huh. It only takes a few months to build a castle exactly like this one? That doesn't make too much sense to me. Oh, wow. Oh, I'd be glad to help! Oh, man, my ear is itching. But I can't move my headset. Just gotta fight through it. Oh, so yeah, for talking to her, we get some more call bead magic, too. So, let's go through that, if we can. Camellia. Okay, so yeah, that's what we have in call bead. So we have a couple of these. Alright, so we got Shockwave, which is like an earthquake-type attack that hits everyone. We got Shield, which protects us from damage for some time. There's Plague, which deals steady damage to opponents, like that Corrosion spell we got before. And there's Hypnotize, which stops them in their tracks. So, that, they're okay spells. Really, Fire Eyes is really all you need, to be honest. You know, lots of offensive spells and something that heals you a lot. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need. So, yeah, we could go talk to Tinker, or we could uh, wander about. Uh, which one should we do first, I wonder? Let's try wandering. There's at least one thing I want to get before we, uh, go see what's, what's up with the weird guy that we just met. That was Tinker. I think they mentioned that. If not, well, now you know. So, yeah, they got the identical dining hall with another chest. One more call bead for our troubles. Nothing on that side. So if we wander in here, we get to a little weird chamber that wasn't here before. And there's this guy here. Well, I bet I am. Uh, let's see. I guess three. Yes. Okay, the thing that wor um how Naris works is that he'll sometimes appear to be a child, and he'll sometimes appear to be an old man. When he asks you to guess the marbles in his hand, you have to guess the one that's opposite to what he is. So, since he's a child, you want to guess the bigger number, and if he's an adult, you want to guess the smaller one. For doing so, we get the Alchemy Formula Super Heal, which is like, one up, except it restores both of our health to full. So, yeah. I'm gonna get rid of Sting. No, not Sting. Speed for it, because I really haven't used Speed. Oh well. Man. I'm keeping one up, too, just in case I don't need Super Heal, because they use different ingredients. This one's two ethanol and one acorn. I don't think he gives us anything. 
Oh yeah, but no, he doesn't uh, give us any ingredients to sell or anything like that. Oh well. Let's see, there's a couple more things around here, I think. Uh, some side paths with some treasure. There's some oil. There's also mosquitoes around here, so if you wanted to train your weapon on those, you can. This is probably what I'm going to do. I'll probably level up my weapon a little. They don't give any experience, so it wouldn't be like real grinding, I suppose. I don't know, I'll think about it. I do want to show off the sword before we get into the big parts of this uh, place. So yeah, let's go back and see what's up with uh, that Tinker guy. Whee! Climbing stairs! My itch is gone. I knew it. You get whatever you want if you just ignore everything else. Yeah. It's like they're coming right at me! And they are. So, yeah. This is like a little mini gauntlet where you'll be fighting uh, there's some vipers, some mad monks, some of those dancing fools up there. But they're pretty easy to kill at this point. Ow. I don't even know why they play the boss music for this part. Come on, weapon. Weapon level? Or at least... Uh, killing them. Two shots. Really, game? You gonna do this? <sighs> Fine. I'll accept your pun for now. I'm letting you off easy. Yeah, there's the guy. Well, you could have turned it off. Tinker Tinderbox. Okay, sure. That's a name. Alchemy? You gonna give us something? Okay, we're just telling our life story to this guy. Oh yeah, we did kind of fall out of the sky before. Yep, that's basically our story. Oh! So it's just floating above the place, like, eternally? Nobody's really questioned it? Not even the prehistoric people? Huh. Oh, yeah, I guess so. So, what are we supposed to do? Oh, yeah, the uh, beat her up. That works. Oh, okay. Let's look through the telescope. That's also somehow a directional microphone. What's well, Aronio again? Huh. You're superior, huh? Everybody's being controlled by something. But I don't know what. cares about people, really. So they're looking for something, but we don't know what it is. Wow, she's mean! Oh. Well, we could go to the chessboard if we exit to the left of that place where Naris is, but I don't think we can actually get to the other side through it. Like, I think it's like the... The other side of the drawbridge is up, so yeah. Oh. Okay, sure. Yeah, we did see that. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, yeah, he also sells ingredients. Uh, if you're low on iron and acorns, you can stock up here, but they're pretty expensive, so don't worry too much about it. I also get ethanol for some other stuff. Yeah, he can save our game and all that good stuff, so this is kind of like a neat little hub area. There's also more things to get around here besides that axe he mentioned. In this book... Is that a book? Is that not what we're looking for? Okay. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. 
I know there's at least two things around here, though. Maybe I need to uh, grab uh, something else first. Okay, over here's the chest with the Night Basher, which is the axe for this region. And with that, we'll be able to get through all those barriers we saw before. But I'm gonna go ahead and equip this... Not the lance. I can never tell all these shiny weapons from each other. Okay, yeah. In this book, we get the Explosion Alchemy Formula. That takes some ethanol and ash, and it says it destroys barriers, but there's really no barriers to destroy in this game, so I don't know what they talked about. What they're talking about here. It's fairly strong, but it's also fairly expensive to level up, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. Okay, there's one more. I feel like it was that book we saw before. But maybe... maybe it's on the other side? Ah, here it is. It's in these books, the Slow Burn Formula. It's kind of like a poison ailment, but it does actually get strong, stronger, and it only inflicts the ailment on one enemy instead of corrosion affecting everyone. It takes iron and brimstone, so it's... it's okay, but I'm probably not going to use it. Heavy! Let's see, I don't think there's anything else to sniff around here, so yeah. That pretty much covers it for everything in this area. There's a um, little thing to the right there, but there's nothing we can do over there. Just so you know. And we don't need to fight these guys again, fortunately. So, I'm going to think about what I'm going to do. Uh, I want to level up my sword, but I don't know if it'll take too much time beating up all those rats and stuff. Let's see. And in terms of my alchemy, everything's at level 4, except for... Well, significantly, anyway. Except for the Lance spell, but... I'm gonna use that a little less now, because it's already gotten enough showtime, as is. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be focusing on Crush, since we're gonna be able to um, stock up on Limestone again sooner or later. And Super Heal, we got enough of those. One up, not too much, but we probably won't be using that as much. So yeah. That's the good thing about it. And I also have Levitate still equipped. Hmm. Well, maybe that'll come in handy some other day. You never know. As for my Fireball spell, I haven't really used that, and I guess I probably won't. But, I don't know, I'm keeping it in case I just want to nail an enemy and make them stop in their tracks, you know? So yeah, besides that, I think I'm pretty well set for our next little journey. So, what we need to do is go back all the way through that um, sewer and start destroying all those barriers and see what we can find. That'll happen next time on Let's Play Secret of Evermore. And Oxprit, hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all with an upgraded sword, perhaps. Bye bye